Um, well, first of all, blogs are updated really often. Like, um, I mean, bloggers, that's their job is to just, you know, constantly be looking at news. And um, also, when you find a blogger that you can relate to and you really like the way they write, um, it's really, it's great to see their perspective on like what's going on in the world. You know, all sorts of blogs from like personal blogs and like friends and stuff and people on Facebook writing notes and then a lot of like um, blogs about you know different music artists, movies, video games, all sorts of like you know, politics stuff that's going on. Just see other people's opinions on stuff because you know I know what I think but it's good to see people just giving their opinions on stuff. I read more personal blogs than anything else. Blogs usually because um, I'm bored, and I generally read blogs about celebrities and uh, things like that. So it's just to stay updated and keep myself entertained. Like it's it's hard to meet friends who know about things about everything. Like you want to know more about the world, so you have to go on the internet. So that's why I like to read blogs, just because. I know my friends don't know everything and I would like to you know a lot more about what they can provide about their lives. Well, I guess it's just to uh, get more of a personal opinion. It's like bigger than like the big news sites. It's like this is someone, if they haven't been there, it's more of a personal take on it. So. Pretty much just a variety of websites. Like I read newspapers some, but like Yahoo, Drudge Report, Dig, things like that. Probably from either other people or CNN.com, things like that. Google News, actually. <laughs> That's probably the biggest source. Right there. Uh, Wonkhead, which is like a political sub, it's kind of Washington, D.C. So it's a lot of political news. And, uh, I like kind of. It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's pretty straightforward, it doesn't try and hide behind stuff, and it's just, it doesn't take itself very seriously. So, a lot of other uh, gaming blogs and stuff like that. Um, political and news and entertainment. Um, it's, it's stuff like, it's scandals, or it's the latest, latest in like, the showbiz. It's just stuff that's really interesting, that really strikes me. I think for me, it's more entertainment. But you get your news through it, but you usually want to read like an unfiltered source because you're getting it very, very much from someone else's point of view, an individual's point of view. I think people should read blogs because um, if you're getting if you're getting you know a blogger who's you know well educated and very informed and not overly biased, then um, you it can kind of help you see a, a really well defined side as opposed to a newspaper article that tries to pack two sides into, you know, a certain inch count. But a blogger has, you know, free reign on, you know, whatever it is that he's blogging about and um, and can give one really educated side. Uh, I know that it's just good to see other people's opinions and stuff, especially if they're like around the country, around the world, you know, just a different group of people than the ones I'm used to. And so I think that's generally the appeal for a lot of people. Like I'm guessing your lives must be so boring as mine, so we just have to get keep things interesting, keep life interesting, so just go on and read stuff, and then once you read them, you feel a little more enlightened about the world.